Fayetteville, Arkansas at the 2022 Walmart UCI Cyclocross World Championships. It's a beautiful day and I'm here to take you through five tips to get your bike race ready. Tip number one, might seem simple, but wash, clean, dry, and lube your bike. The chain, all the different moving parts on your bike need to be moving freely and without any resistance. So take the time to spend cleaning your bike and then finish off with a good lube. Tip number two, make sure to check your bearings, your chain, and your brake pads. Make sure nothing is overworn. You don't want a, a chain that is too stretched out so that it jumps off the cassette or the chain rings if you're on bumpy terrain. Brake pads, of course, you wanna make sure you have plenty of braking power. And of course, if you're running DI2, make sure your batteries are charged. Tip number three, make sure, especially if you're not traveling with mechanics, make sure that you are traveling with a spare parts kit, something like brake pads, extra chain, uh, bearings, derailers. It's not unusual in a cross race that a derailleur gets ripped off, especially if you're in really muddy conditions. So make sure that you have those spare parts and anything goes wrong with your bike, you can come back to your setup and you can make those changes so that your bike is ready to go come start time. Tip number four, every race is different. Conditions vary from day to day, hour to hour. So one of the most talked about parts of the bike before a race is tires and tire pressure. So make sure that you get out on the course and you have a good pre-ride prior to your race so that you get your air pressure dialed and you know exactly what tread you wanna use. A lot of riders will have multiple treads, anything from a dry to an intermediate to a mud tire. So be prepared with all those different options after you've done a good pre-ride and you've dialed everything in so that you know exactly come race time what you're gonna need. Tip number five. Again, every course is different, so you don't necessarily need to run the same chain rings and same cassette options from weekend to weekend. So it's always good to travel with different size cassettes and possible chain rings. Whether you're running a two by or a one by, you want to have those options so that when you get to a course and you're out pre-riding, you're not over-geared or under-geared. You can really dial in those gearing options to perfection for the course that you're on for that day. And that's it for today. Those are your top five tips to get your bike race ready. And I wish you the most of luck in all of your upcoming events.